We have seen a number of apartment fires in Lincoln lately, and with winter weather now here, more people are looking for ways to stay warm, possibly using space heaters, fireplaces, or candles. With that comes the obvious risk of fire, and for renters, knowing what you can do to protect yourself ahead of time can save you quite a bit. 1011 now's Kirsten Foote is live in our newsroom with those details. Good evening, Kirsten. Cole, Kelsey, Lincoln Fire and Rescue reports that fire remains one of the leading causes of property loss. And last year, 10% of all calls crews responded to were involved a fire. If you're a renter or a homeowner, it's important to be sure you're prepared for the worst. Unfortunately, it's a familiar trend this time of year. As temperatures drop and conditions dry out even more, it creates an ideal scenario for a house or apartment fire. In just the last week, 1011 Now has been on the scene of three a malfunctioning electric furnace to blame for one. For renters, these fires can spell disaster. If you lose all of them, it's a pretty significant financial loss. Rick Self is a local State Farm agent. When you think about your personal property, clothing, your kitchen items, your, you know, your living room, your bedroom, your electronics, you have to take all these things into consideration. And the two mistakes renters make when dealing with insurance is undervaluing those belongings or simply not having it. Self tells me even getting the basic level of coverage is achievable for many. You're going to be able to get a significant amount of renter's insurance for as little as, you know, 8 to $10 a month. Self says renter's insurance policies are broad and cover many things such as theft, water leaks, vandalism, and of course, fire. For those without insurance, Nebraska law does entitle renters to terminate their agreements and in some cases get their deposits back. But for the most part, you're out of luck. It's also important to note that more apartment landlords are asking for proof of renters insurance so that they can be sure in worst case scenarios that their tenants are prepared. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kirsten Foote, 1011 Now. Good, good advice there. Thanks very much, Kirsten.